researchers discover new human organ. Think we all know about the human body? Think again. Researchers discovered a new organ by accident while looking at a bile duct and noticed tears in dense tissue. They were using a laser imaging technique to measure internal tissue depth via reflected light. Called the interstitium, the organ was never previously noticed, as tissue study involves slicing and chemical treatment. This results in fluid loss. Researchers say the interstitium is a body-wide structure of lymph fluid, collagen, and proteins. The organ is also believed to comprise 20% of all bodily fluids. The study also found that the interstitium had helped cancer cells move from infected areas to other areas of the body via the lymphatic system. Speaking to the new scientist, one researcher said this was a water slide for cancer. Here's more amazing research on the human body. New study says it's possible to sweat blood. Are you one of those people that's always sweating? Have you ever sweat blood though? A 21-year-old Italian woman was found to have been bleeding intermittently from her face and palms for three years. She was eventually diagnosed with blood sweating or hematohydrosis. This condition causes blood to seep out of unbroken skin like normal perspiration. It's most common on the face, ears, nose and eyes and is often associated with fear and emotional stress. The woman was treated with a beta blocker normally used to regulate blood pressure and heart rate. The medicine did not stop the bleeding, but she did experience a marked reduction in symptoms. Medical experts still don't know what causes the condition. Identical twins, unidentical after one spends a year in space. This is Mark and Scott Kelly, both NASA astronauts and identical twins. Well, at least they used to be. Following his year in space, scientists compared the DNA and RNA of Scott Kelly with his identical twin brother Mark via whole genome sequencing. They found that 7% of Kelly's DNA had changed into so-called space genes. As well as that, his immune system, bone formation and eyesight all went under changes during his year in space. Telomeres, caps on chromosomes, typically shorten as a person ages. Kelly's lengthened but returned to normal two days after he returned to Earth in 2016. So, given a chance, would you spend any time in space? Japanese astronaut grows taller. A new astronaut aboard the ISS thought he may have some issues returning to Earth after gaining some extra height. Japanese astronaut Norishige Kanai mistakenly tweeted this week that he had grown 3.5 inches after spending three weeks on board the International Space Station. He later corrected that claim to 0.8 inches. In space, astronauts' spines often expand due to the lack of gravity. This results in a height increase. Height returns to normal after the astronaut returns to Earth. Astronauts can also experience a loss of bone minerals and muscle mass. Nai was worried that he might not be able to fit into his return craft, a Russian Soyuz, after thinking he had grown over a quarter foot, but now he should be just fine. Researchers create robotic device to aid the heart. This device can help weak tickers keep on beating. The plastic device is placed around a damaged ventricle and is powered via air pressure. It then squeezes the heart to help it circulate blood throughout the body. The mechanics of the device are said to be adaptive to the organ's normal beating rhythm. It so far has only been tested on animal hearts. But it has the potential to one day help the millions of people suffering from heart issues. Eardrums point to where your eyes look. Research from Duke University has shed a new light on how our eyes and ears work together. Scientists placed 16 people in a room with no sound and placed small microphones in their ears to record eardrum movement. They tracked how the individuals responded to shifting LED lights without moving their head. Researchers discovered that eardrum movement corresponds with where the eyes are looking even when no sound is present. They also detected vibrations in the eardrum just before the eyeballs shifted to wherever the light was.